in this video I will be showing the step-by-step -step procedure of spatial subsetting by coordinates method using the NV 5.4. Spatial subsetting by coordinate method is applicable when the project area is rectangular in shape, not irregular, and the coordinates of the upper left corner and the lower right corner of the project are known. So let's consider this satellite's image here. This image covers a large area. And let us consider this rectangular area here as the project area that we want to separate from the main image. So we should know the coordinates of the upper left corner and also the coordinates of the lower right corner in order to separate this from the main image to have the small image. Yeah. So this small image here will be used for image processing and analysis. So let us open the NV5.4. Okay, so here is the NV5.4. So we will open the image that we want to subset. And we will be using the image that we use in the previous video in the uh, subsetting by region of interest. Okay, so go to file. Open. Go to drive C. Program files. Harris and the 5.4 data and we will select the uh, image that has a file name of QB Boulder MSI. Okay, so this is the image that we want to subset. Next, in subsetting by, our, uh, by coordinate method, we will use the tools uh, that is found in the tool box at the right of the NV. So, click the raster management. Then next, select the resize data. So, double click resize data. And the uh, resize data input file will appear. So in this window, the image file will appear. Huh? So we have here the select input file. So select the input file by clicking it. And you notice spatial subset and spectral subset will be added below. And at the right, you will see the file information. So this is the information about the input file. An example here is the size, the file type, sensor, pixel size, datum, and so on. Okay? So in this window, since we are doing the spatial subsidy, we will select the spatial subset and then another window will appear we have the select spatial subset window in this window it will show the number of samples and number of lines so meaning this is the size or the dimension of the input image so the sample here is 1 to 1024 
and the lines here is 1 to 1024. So meaning, NS here is the number of sample, NL here is the number of line, so they are both 1024. So the image is square. And another one here is the method of subsetting. Before, we use the ROI, EVF, uh, or the region of interest or NV vector file. And this activity, we will be using the coordinate method under this map. So we will click map. And then you will see that there is another window that will come out. Uh, we have the spatial subset by map coordinate so this window we need to input the upper left coordinate up of the yeah and then the coordinates of the lower right corner yeah? so we have this box the first box is e stands for sting and the second box is the n or north king or this e here is same as the x axis and n here is same as the y axis yeah? so this is for the upper left coordinate and below is the lower right coordinate okay so let's input the coordinates of the project area so for the easting of the upper left corner we have four eight zero four nine six and for the north thing we had four four two eight zero six eight and for the east thing of the lower right coordinate we have four eight one six four zero and then for the north thing we have four four two seven four one six okay so after entering the uh, upper left and the lower right coordinates just click okay then click also OK to the select spatial subset window and click also OK on the resize data input file window and the resize data parameters window will appear okay so here as you can see the output file dimension samples reduced to 411 yeah? And the lines reduced to 560. A while ago, the input samples is 1024 and the lines is also 1024. The next here, we have the resampling method. Yeah? So we will choose which resampling method are we going to use. So we have the three methods here, the nearest neighbor, the bilinear and the cubic convolution. So let us select the nearest neighbor method. And for the output file name, so we will click the choose here so that we can proceed to our folder where we want to save our output. So for me, I want to save in my drive D and type the file name so i will be using subset subset underscore coordinates so for the file name be sure that it will be related to your activity so that when you use it again later you will be easily 
determine uh, based on their file name. So click open and then after clicking the OK here, you will see the processing box. Okay. So we have here the input, uh, the output, I should say. So you notice that the output will automatically added to the layer manager. So let's check the output image. So I will uncheck the input and this is now the output image. Yeah. So we have here the rectangular project area. So that ends the subsetting by coordinate method.